Okay, day three. What's going on? Uh, we have some memory and instructions. Okay. Gosh. Uh, oh, something, something. Okay. Do and don't. Yeah, well, that was terrible. No points today. Frustrating. What went wrong? Bad string manipulation, I guess. All right. Let me clean this up. Uh, pretty straightforward to solve both parts here. This gives 1.8. Two six something or other and eight oh seven five four five. Yeah, so we're given this big long string and we're supposed to scan through it for these multiplication instructions. Uh which I did a bad job of parsing out, I would say. 
Um, should I really be doing instead? I guess I should be doing... Let me try and clean this up more. Uh, okay, so we have MUL x, y, so that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, I guess the story is that I need to know regular expressions better, right? Uh, Does this work? Search. Mm -hmm. That looks fine, except it has a bunch of other stuff. How does this match my regular expression? Oh, it doesn't. Uh, I need other random stuff here. Anyway, you can see why I did not do a uh, more use of regular expressions, because this is terrible. Okay, maybe this works if I escape the parentheses. How does this work? This returns a match object. Let's see. Where is the whole match? That goes 
just there. Okay. One eight two six one nine eight one five eight zero oh, seven four seven five four five. Okay, so this gives the right answer, and this is much shorter. Uh, I feel like if I'd been able to write this, you know, not in that slow way that you just saw me write it, but in a reasonable way, uh, that could have been fast enough. Um, so yeah, I think this is uh, this is when what. what what went wrong today is I tried to do sort of match manual string matching, which, you know, I mean, it worked, but uh, is sort of slow and error prone and tricky. Um, and this was really calling for regexes, right? This is actually, you know, does the whole string matching in one uh, fell swoop. And, you know, this gets the, extracts the ints out at the end. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and then the whole thing is just like 10 lines long. Uh, but I was not able to do that because I don't know regex, you know, the Python regex library so well. Uh, so instead, I did this little thing. Okay, so anyway, that's, I guess I didn't actually talk about the problem. Um, so we're given this long string. It has these, like, mole instructions inside of it, and so we need to sort of parse them out. Um, so what I am doing here is just for every, this is kind of a slow way to do it, but whatever, it's fine for every... Uh, so the starting index, check if there's a mull instruction starting right here. A mull instruction is the word mull, plus a literal open paren, plus a number of some length. Actually, the column says that the numbers have to be a certain uh, length of between one and three digits, but they don't give any examples with uh, like four digits. So I guess it's fine to just match all the digits. Um, I suppose, if I'm remembering right, we should be able to write that, yes. So this would actually this would be a more faithful translation of the problem statement. Uh, anyway, between one and three digits, and uh, a closing literal closing parenthesis. So if we do find such a thing, then grab those digits, you know, convert, parse them into integers, and then do the multiplication, and that's for part one. And then in part two, there's two more special strings, which is do and don't, and that is easier because there's no parsing involved. We could just literally say like. Uh, is this the string? Maybe it's nicer to write it like this. Right, so like, does the string, or even, I suppose, this is less efficient, but, you know, whatever. Uh, the code is nicer, which is the important thing here. So, why not write it like that? I mean, is it even less efficient? It probably is, because I think this operation is expensive. Maybe. I guess we can see. Okay, but anyway, the code is shorter, so that's something. Uh, yeah, so if we see a do, like this, I don't know, we start off counting things, and then if we see a do, we start counting things. If we see a don't, we stop counting things. And for part do, we only count the multiplication uh, instructions while we're counting things. Uh, so that is it for today. Maybe I'll brush up on my regexes and see you tomorrow.